Good morning. We are so, oops, it's not morning. Good afternoon. We're so happy that you're here. We vlog every single day. So if you enjoy this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow. I am just getting some mini weeds. Peter has started cleaning as we're going to have some visitors this week. Um, and I've been editing the vlog. So a little bit later start to the day, um, but a good start nonetheless. Good afternoon. Um, I had a weird morning. I slept. In, I got up to my work reports at 6:45, but then fell back asleep until 10. Haven't gone around, which means my run's gonna be late because it's too hot. And then I started cleaning because we had a lot of like, not that, not that our apartment was dirty, but like it's not visitor ready. And there's things we've been meaning to do, like get our car detailed and the dishes and extra scrubbing that I started doing. So I'm like, spent. Been going for what, like three hours now? Yes. Just emptied Let's the car. Show. We, um, we She's got. She's really some. hungry, can you tell? <laughs> we got some Panera bread from Grubhub. Thank you, Maria. It was a birthday gift. Um, so I'll give you that, a food tour. Yes. Before I devour it all. So we both got half of a Mediterranean veggie sandwich with no feta. So they just gave us the whole sandwich, but we each get half. And then Peter got an Asian, um, I forget the exact name of it. Some sort of Asian-y nutty salad. And then I got the Fuji apple pear with no chicken or no cheese. Then Peter got this measly baguette in the apple. I went to drop off the car at the car wash to get detailed because we've been meaning to get it detailed for months now. Like it was in real rough shape. Um, one, I didn't think I'd be spending the amount of money I spent on that cleaning, but better be a good job. And two, I did not think it would take the amount of time it would take. They said it's going to be at least an hour. And they'll call us when it's ready. So, I'm going to walk home. Um, figure by the time I walk home, I uh, can hang out for a few minutes and then I can leave to walk back. But at least I won't be sitting around in a public place around a bunch of people. So I can't wait. We haven't had our car detailed like that in years. So I'm excited. I just hope we do a good job. I decided to turn around, you know. The rate that I'm walking because I'm in pants. I was just enjoying the breeze and the and the shade and being outside. So I figured at the pace I'm going, I might as well just turn around. And by the time I get back, uh, the car should be close to being done. But it is a toasty 95, but beautiful Florida day. Um, no humidity right now. So I'll take I, I'll take the heat when there's no humidity. To me, this is like the epitome of a southern tree. I don't know what this tree is called. But it's got all the Spanish moss on it and then it's all grown out and giant branches growing like falling going back in to the ground so cool you just hang out here it's all shady but open love it oh oh hoo -hoo. that is a fresh looking car fresh fresh looking car I actually gotta get Get that back on the car. I am getting ready to make dinner tonight. We're gonna have pizzas with pesto and veggies, and then I'm going to make some honey, like spicy honey, but I'm actually not gonna use honey. I'm gonna use agave nectar to make cauliflower wings, and they actually are going to be breaded, so they're just dredged in flour. There's my garbanzo bean um, liquid, that's gonna be my egg, and then my breadcrumbs. Um, I'll put the recipe that I use in the description below. Here's how they look going in. We are a sweaty bunch today getting our cleaning done um, and now it's hot in the kitchen but my easy idea of just like cauliflower and pizza dinner kind of turned complicated when I remembered that I wanted to make my homemade pesto and I also am roasting well I'm actually frying up some onions and peppers for the pizza before they go in the oven so that they're already like juicy um and so yeah this got complicated here is 
my pre basil um, I'll put the, the link below of um, the recipe I'm using to make vegan pesto so here's how the pesto turned out I like it a little more chunky here is the pizza so far I'm gonna wait for Peter to come out of the bathroom he just took a quick shower um, to see if he wants any other veggies on it I tossed the wings in this sauce I might just leave this on the side if we want to dip it at all um, but it smells good looks good and I'm gonna put these back in the oven Peter added some zucchini to the pizza, so we're gonna pop that in the oven as well. Here are our wings. They are yummy, but they are a bit soggy, but I think they're supposed to be like ooey gooey. Um, good flavor though. Okay, and here's the pizza. Pizza and wing night. Well, 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 the day has gotten behind us. I'm making a quick trip for a little snack and one little errand here at Target. So we spent all day cleaning and organizing and we realized we need a new shower curtain. So I'm out running out to grab a new shower curtain before our family visits. We're hoping that they get to see our apartment because they haven't. And I'm going to get a sweet treat for Sarah while I'm out. So here's literally Target's open for 15 more minutes. Oh no, they're closing soon. This isn't the right kind. We go with the cloth liner, not a plastic liner. But they're kind of low. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait for it. Fabric shower liner. Perfect. Is this too big? I think this is a winner. All right, 15 minutes, got this. Gotta find some sweet treats for Sarah. All right, not the biggest variety right now because I'm sure shipments aren't the best, but this almond, sea salt, and dark chocolate, 72%. Typically, if it's 72% or above, there's no milk fat in it, which means it's vegan. And I checked this, not only does it, does it, they don't always say it, but this actually has certified vegan on the back. Sarah wanted some crunch. I approved it, and I called her and she approved it with the almonds, gives her that little bit of crunch. So I'm gonna grab two of these, and then we're gonna, uh, I grabbed this blueberry bai. Sarah loves the pomegranate, but she also likes the blueberry. So I'm gonna check the other aisle for the pomegranate, but if not, with eight minutes left before the store closes, I think we, it was a, a success. Success. Pomegranate for the win. All right, I gotta get out of here. I've been very good for years now about my coffee mug addiction, but it still doesn't mean that I wouldn't indulge if I if I had a moment of weakness. But I actually didn't like any of those. These are the ones I like typically over here. Look at this. Florida, the sunshine state. H, even though my name begins with P. Today's goal, keep the tiny humans alive. Love it. Morning vibes. This right here makes me hope that if for some reason the parks aren't doing fireworks on 4th of July, that they close the park early and do them for everybody outside. The store's closed. I barely made it, but I'm in line. I come home to this little relaxation princess. Long day of cleaning and, and prepping, right? I got a headache. You know what's gonna help? A buy on ice and a chocolate bar. Yay. And I hear something else on the TV. Lunch is served, or breakfast is served, lunch is served, dinner is served. Yeah, last time I saw this, I said I'm both. You know what the three most exciting sounds in the world are? Uh -huh. Breakfast is served, lunch is served, no, dinner. No, no, no. Anchor chains, plane motors, and train with them. Yeah. yeah. Got Sarah's buy on ice, and I'm about to dish out this delicious looking chocolate bar on this plate for her as well. Endangered Species Chocolate is the brand. I think we've got had this before, and it's pretty delicious. 10% of net profits to save wildlife. Well, that's nice. All right, now that curfew's over, these these late night things can happen because it was so hot today. It's 10:30. I'm gonna go out for. I wanted to do 10 miles today and six tomorrow, but I think I have to switch because it's so late. I have to switch them. I just wasn't up for a run this morning, and then I overslept, and then by the time I actually got up, it was too hot to go run when I wanted to run. But now it's that awkward time of year with all the heat and everything where like, it's 10.30, I wanna go run six miles, I'm gonna go run six miles, but I wanna run 10 miles tomorrow. But if I run six tonight, I'm not gonna get like home, rolled, showered, rested, ready for bed until like midnight. And if I wanna run 10 miles tomorrow, I need to get out the door at like latest 7 a.m. tomorrow. So it's like, it's almost like a Disney challenge where it's back to back, not what's worse than a Disney challenge because it's back to back or I have to wait until tomorrow night again, but it's gonna be a 10 mile run tomorrow, so it's, it's, it's a puzzle. You guys know I love puzzles, but I'm gonna get out there while Sarah finishes off this Christmas glory known as It's a Wonderful Life. If you haven't seen it, let us know. 
I won't be mad, but we may have to FaceTime while you watch it so I know that your life is going in the right direction going forward because it's a pretty necessary piece of of my life. Ooh, you can tell from this angle it is muggy out for my run. I'm a good chunk into my run. Real muggy. I know I look really sweaty, but I love this new ACS shirt. But I don't know if it's the material. I've never had a running shirt with this kind of wicking, this level of wick. But even when it's not super muggy like it is right now, and I apologize, I look so gross. Um, it just makes me profusely sweat. I feel like Nick Miller from New Girl when he's lying. I'm sorry if you don't get that reference, but that's what I feel like. But, you know, after a stressful long day of cleaning, organizing, and just figuring life out, a very tiring muggy run will do your mind and body good, I think. Got a good Rambling Runner podcast episode playing right now. And it's late, it's like 11.30, but nobody else is out. I'm out. The bugs are out, you can hear them. Feels good, feels good. I'm excited for the future for many reasons. James, I've been vibing on calling him Jamie. World Marathon, Chicago Marathon, Disney World, Sarah, she's pretty great. She's the best. Just love life, even during these dark times. There's a reason why we get through them, and I'm pumped for all of us to experience those reasons. All right. I've delayed running long enough. It's time to go. So I am all cleaned up rolled my legs and everything, drank some water, a little bit of kombucha, um, as my friend Shane would say, kabuta juice. Um, it is 2.04 in the morning because I forgot, so I told you guys before, like I run this thing on the weekend for my, like the weekend workers for my department, so my team doesn't have to, but it takes like an hour to hour and a half before I can like let it run all night and I can go to bed. And I forgot to start that before my run and I didn't get home from my run until midnight. Um, so it is way too late, but I'm going to do the message and then we're going to sign off. Alrighty, today is May 23rd. Can I believe May is coming to an end? May 23rd is by Friedrich Nietzsche. He who has a why to live can bear almost any how. I totally agree. She is so ready for bed and so ready for a haircut. We should see about getting her booked soon. Sarah hasn't seen the footage yet of my phone from my run, but even though it was real muggy and I was real sweaty, I think I kept it below 10 minutes. I also filled out a big survey today about my virtual coaching for Chicago Marathon um, supplied by ACS. Like It's happy. from a Chicago organization, but ACS is paying for it since we got to a certain point. Yeah, I, my average pace was 9.59 for my six miles. Wow. So given my... Nice job. Given, given the conditions and how I was feeling, I'm happy with that. Yeah. I had Home Alone on after It's a Wonderful Life, and I talked to my mom, and my head feels better. So that's good. Um, it's late, and I'm going to sleep forever. I can't. I have to get up and finish this other press part by seven. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. It's well, good to be home. Thanks for hanging out with us today, friends. Yeah. We hope you're having a good weekend. Yeah, good Even and safe it's, holiday yeah, weekend. It's a holiday weekend. It's a little bit different for everybody. Yeah. This, this, this Memorial around. weekend. Mm-hmm. I just think, like, what would Mickey Mouse we be wearing? Been, we would be at, in Chicago right now. I know, but, but what would Mickey Mouse be wearing right now? What's he going to wear on Monday Yankee at home? Some colonial wear? Some 4th yeah. of July-like wear? Something to honor those who <sighs> have fallen for our country. Goofy would be like... I want to see Goofy in like a World War II like, outfit. Because you know like those old propaganda films of Goofy in the war? And Donald in the war? I want to see like them in an actual <laughs> costume like that. It's good to be home. <laughs> Thank you.
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>